When setting up a template, there might be times where you might not know exactly how many signers you'll need at the time of sending the document for signature. For example, if you're renting out a space that has four bedrooms, you might need four different signers to sign the lease. However, you might also rent that same space of four bedrooms to just two individuals. Therefore, you'd only need two signers on that document. You're able to do this with variable signers. And to set that up, first make sure you're on a premium account. Then come to the template creation process and upload the document or documents you would like to create as a template. I'll go ahead and upload a file. I'll select a liability waiver. Then I can select next. Now I need to add in my signer roles. So for this liability waiver, I might need to have one signer or two signers. If the individual I'm sending this waiver to happens to be under the age of 18, I'll need to have a guardian sign. However, if they're above the age of 18, they won't need that guardian signature. So now I'll go ahead and create the roles. I'll have my volunteer and my guardian. Now I can select next. Now I can place down the required fields of my volunteer. So my signature and the date signed. And now I'll go ahead and update who I'm assigning these fields to by using my drop down and selecting guardian, placing my date sign down as well, and my signature. Once I've placed all the fields down, I'll select next. Now add a title to the document. I can also add a message if I'd like and save my template. Now let's take a look at using your variable signers in action. So let's use this template. Template has already been added, so I'll select next. And now I need to add in my signers information. In this use case, my signer is actually above the age of 18, so I don't need my guardian. Add it in my signers information, select next. Now I can review my information and see that I only have a single signer assigned to this particular request. If I'd like, I can preview the document. I can select Linda and see exactly what my signer will see when they receive the signature request. The additional fields that would be assigned to my other signer simply will not populate on this particular request. When I'm ready, I can send for signature.